We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello everyone. Winter has finally arrived in Sweden now. It's been winter uh, for like many weeks now, but now uh, the snow has finally come. One day, no, two days after Christmas Eve. So this is what Sweden looks like in winter. And as you can see, there are no polar bears or reindeers here, at least. Nu sitter de här att julbord utan musik. Ja, det är julbord där glashoppa eller någonting. Så här borst. Så ser man igenom ögonen genom ögonlocket också. Och där sitter han. Han är liten. Det såg vi till jul i våran släkt. Vi hade glashoppa med en fågel på bordet. Vad mår du säga till dem på Youtube? Han har ätit smörgås. I've been living in this village, it's a village in Sweden and I've been living here for like 31 years now, almost 32 and it's starting to get tedious. I want to get an apartment in Linköping but it's like impossible to find one. Uh, and I think I've seen my grandpa or someone shuffling snow over here so let's record him and stalk him a little bit. That was not my grandpa. It was my cousin's wife, or sort of. In Sweden we have a lot of wind power plants, so as you can see here, there's one here, but sometimes you can encounter the entire horizon for them, and that's good because environmental friendly until it breaks and then you need to fix it and that costs a lot of minerals, but still. I film a little bit on the stand also. A little bit of julklapp. A little julklapp here. You can get a julklapp if you want. Hans ICQ-nummer är Seeing things like that is almost like a fantasy novel taken from fantasy, which is fantastic fantasy fantasy-ish. I really need to think more about what I should say when I record myself. I have a foot! I have a foot! I have a foot! Yeehaw! I know I'm like a child sometimes, but what the fuck, you only live once. But I have a foot! I have a foot, my anus is starting to freeze. This is what my anus looks like now. My ass. It's... <laughs> when I tried to stand up, I slipped so I fell and I crushed this foot like... I don't know how I did. But what the fuck. It's just a little bit of pain and... I only gotta work like six or seven hours today like a waiter, so I don't need to run more than seven hours. So I think I'm gonna be okay. Ibland tar kaffe sugit vid och ni måste bara dricka. Så se till att ni pappret från denna klapp kan vicka. Kan vicka. För det som ligger i dina räcker nog till två. Om inte mormors kaffe sugit lite så är det nog. Det är lite kaffe antar jag. I've always oh oh. 
<laughs> I've always found this fence fascinating ever since I was a child. It looks so zombie apocalyptic somehow. It's like made to uh, put things on top of these sticks. Uh, impale them is the word. This used to be the local shop here in Klokkerike, uh, but uh, now I don't know what it is. I think it's a living area now, except it's like fallen or something where the shop was before. I have no idea what's inside there anymore. There was a guy called Pryl Bertil, which means uh, basically means thing Bertil, and he was, or stuff Bertil maybe, and he was selling stuff there for a while, but then he closed down, so I don't know what's going on there anymore. But anyway, here's a nice view of the field. I've been walking for like, uh, I don't know how long, but I've been walking a long distance and this is what the field looked like. I'm gonna walk down this slope now and I hope I survive this because it feels like suicide. Whew. And now that I want to slip while recording, then I of course don't slip. That's great, just great. Ooh. It looks so beautiful, so untouched. It's like no one has been walking here. Uh, well, I kind of feel a little bit guilty right now. So, sorry to everyone who's walking here next after me. Uh, you have the culprit right in view. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, so I'm walking on a field now, I just recorded this, which you saw at the start of the video, and it's really beautiful. Woo! I, sometimes I don't know how lucky I am to be living out on the countryside, but there are definitely times when I miss going out into the city. So, living out on the countryside has its benefits. You can be alone, people don't bother you. But it's damn long if you want to go to a party or if you just want to be social. And now I'm probably gonna fall to my death here, so this isn't gonna be very pretty. But uh, it's a river, or whatever you call it. They even have a small, small little dam or something. I remember I used to be here with my cousin a few years ago and we took pictures here. And it was awesome. But then it was in the spring, I think, or maybe during what is it called fall. So it was much less snow here. I think you can probably find it in my YouTube channel somewhere if you go way back a few years. In Sweden we have rolling tart, rolling cake, rolling cake. Do you hear this relaxing sound? The sound is so beautiful, but the smell here, let's say it's not exactly beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whew. That was close. This little pit here in the middle of one of the fields yields a lot of memories for me. Because I had a friend once, 
or I still have him I think I don't know he's not allowed to meet me because of his girlfriend or something like that but anyway I met the, uh, we had a lot of fun here so during the summer we were digging through the trash and garbage and we found like a bag full of smurfs and stuff and we also found a diary written by one of my aunts it was some kind of love trouble and think I don't know what it was about but either way we read through it and then we threw it away but we didn't know why the smurfs were thrown out because they were fine quality and then we went to my grandma and she was like oh no has grandpa thrown them away then he threw the wrong bag away so probably they threw a lot of trash here uh, by mistake so if anyone wants to come to clock you can rummage through this garbage during the summer just go do it here you can find a lot of treasures you can probably get a lot of glass pieces and stuff in your feet too, but that's worth the trouble, maybe. Oh my god, my hand is starting to turn red. I do have some, uh, what's it called, handskar. Uh, I do have some gloves in my pockets, but uh, I can't use the camera while having them on, so I need to go around and freeze like hell. But you do what you can for art. You do what you can for art! Okay, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out because there's a small little river here. Uh, and I need to jump to get over, but it's slippery. Whoa! Whew. I managed. I always manage when I want to. I'm not making a scary video, but <laughs> it's cold out here. <laughs> but when you make scary videos, you have to record your nose and you have to be not running but I don't have that because I'm not sad or real <laughs> and now I'm finally back home again and I've been scotting this whole drive through, drive in, drive driveway, whatever it's called scotting uh, yeah, shoveling, maybe shoveling so and here's Santa, a little bit of Santa in my life. So maybe I'll continue this video tomorrow because now I need to get to work. But uh, for now I'm gonna finish here. So maybe this video becomes longer, I don't know. But if not, bye bye. And if it becomes longer, then see you in a few seconds again. So this message is totally pointless. And my hand is still red. Uh, this is Brutti. Uh, everybody wants to see this. He said everybody is gonna love your videos. So here is more advertising for Julmust. You don't have Julmust Christmas mose in other countries. I don't know where they exist. Uh, so this Julmust is really nice to look at. Um, it has a flask and it looks like coke and <laughs> it's, it's really nice to watch. <laughs>